I want you to come with me on a little trip to 1796 in the new colony of New South Wales. John and Elizabeth MacArthur have just bought their first merino flock, fresh off a boat, nothing like this of course, all the way from South Africa. Now they've got a choice. Do we let them run and breed with the rest of our flock or do we keep a pure flock of merino sheep and breed up from that? Fine wool or meat, that was the choice and it's pretty much defined the Australian sheep flock ever since. But why not breed for both? Well, while that wasn't an option for the MacArthurs, today new genetic selection tools backed up by research make a truly dual purpose future possible for Australian merino flocks. Tim Dawson has the story. With the Australian sheep flock shrinking to historic lows, but demand for lamb at all-time highs, the idea of getting more meat from Australia's merinos has never made more sense. But there are those who doubt they make the cut. Rick Baldwin of Bundilla Merinos near Young has no such doubts. Using Australian sheep breeding values, or ASBVs, through the Merino Select Genetic Evaluation Tool, he's continuing what his father started, building a totally dual-purpose flock. Carcass traits uh, is probably one of the most valuable tools that we use from Merino Select. Uh, the, over the last five years I've seen an enormous progress in the repeatability uh, of the results that we're seeing passed on to progeny. Um, the higher growth, higher muscled sheep um, are performing uh, for growth better and better. Rick's dual purpose flock simplifies management allows for a more continuous income flow, reduces risk, and the financial benefits are hard to ignore. The idea of a dual purpose flock is really nothing new. It's been an aspiration of the industry for many years, but it's now that producers can have the confidence to pursue it wholeheartedly. That confidence comes firstly from research. The research MLA conducted under the Merino Validation Project has proven that carcass attributes of merinos can be significantly improved without losing fleece quality. And more recently, MLA-funded research at Murdoch University in Perth has shown that other aspects of overall flock performance don't suffer in the quest for dual-purpose sheep. So I already knew that the genetic correlations between uh, wool traits and meat traits were, were favourable, so there should be no problem with, with those two things going together. Um, I guess I was interested in how, if we started selecting this new type of sheep for, for meat traits, carcass traits, how that would then change uh, maternal performance and then for how that would change the whole farm system performance. I guess I expected that uh, muscling might have a, a negative impact but it turns out that you can have your cake and eat it too. You can go for carcass traits, muscling and growth and not have any impact on, on wool traits or on the maternal performance. So it's really, I guess surprisingly, there's win-wins all around for, for sheep producers in using good genetic information and using it well. They can end up with more, more profitable sheep. That's certainly been Rick Baldwin's experience here at Young. Overall per hectare our commercials have a gross income between $900 and $950. Um, the, uh, the cost of this program ranges between 27 and 45 per cent. We're getting around 7.5 to 8 kilograms of 9.5 micron from our ewes and um, if you're weaning 140 per cent on top of that I think it's uh, a pretty fantastic gross margin. The key for Rick Baldwin and other producers pursuing a combined meat and wool flock is having certainty about the traits carried by the sheep they select for breeding. That's where Merino Select and the ASBVs come in. Merino Select has been a fantastic tool in identifying genetics on farm and off farm for carcass traits and uh, I wouldn't use uh, any, any animal uh, that didn't have good uh, EBVs on Merino Select for muscling and growth. Merino Select is the genetic evaluation service for the Australian merino industry. Merino ram breeders who work with us submit uh, a combination of pedigree and performance records and from that we produce Australian sheep breeding values as estimates of the genetic merit of those animals for their particular characteristics. It covers the uh, traditional traits such as the, the, the suite of uh, wool quality and quantity type traits but also encompasses carcass traits, reproduction uh, and worm resistance. To, to start breeding dual purpose animals, producers should to really get make sure their seed stock producers are using Australian sheep breeding values. Um, without that genetic information on, on sheep, it's very hard to, to pick differences between them. Um, my work showed the immense power that Australian sheep breeding values have in terms of how they can change the sheep from physiology level right up right through to production level. 
producers should get out there and use this information, make sure their seed stock producers are providing it and, um, and essentially go for carcass muscling growth. Don't select against fat and still keep your pressure on, on wool traits and, and you will breed a, a more profitable animal. Merino Select is a valuable tool, so it's a good idea to make sure your breeder is participating in it. If it had been available to John MacArthur, the history of the Australian sheep industry would have been very different.